Hello, I'm Sarah from Inkno. We often get asked how we create our videos here on this channel. And today we're gonna to give you a special behind the scenes look at exactly how that's done. So don't forget to hit subscribe to stay updated in the future on all of our EdTech tips. So in the video today, we're going to give you a simple rundown on everything you need to create a video just like we do. So that means having your PowerPoint or any kind of information behind you and you a little bit smaller in the corner. That way your students can see both the lesson and yourself. It's really quite easy to do, so we're gonna get started by all of the items that you need and then we'll go through the editing and then you can go ahead and share it with your students. First things first, let's go over all the different items that are needed to create one of these videos in your very own home. First up is a camera. So you need some sort of recording device. It could be a professional camera, a webcam, or even simply an iPhone will work. Next, you also need a screen recording software. So I've used Camtasia or Screencast-O-Matic in the past, and those have worked great. Next, and most importantly, I think, is the green screen. So the green screen allows you to remove the background and put the content you've been screen recording behind you. There are lots of different low cost options out there. So you can use poster board, a sheet. Right now I have a retractable green screen that has worked out great. Next up is lighting. So lighting isn't mandatory, but it does help to create a quality image. So if you're interested in kind of having a better video and the lighting in your home isn't the best, you can get some softbox lights or a circle light will do as well. Lastly, we need a microphone. So a microphone like the lighting isn't 100% mandatory, but it does help to provide a better quality audio for your video. So you can use the mic that's in your camera or on your computer, but again, for better quality, go with a microphone. I will have links in the description for all of the different brands of the tools that I use in our video. And if you want to check out videos without mic or lighting, you can check out our earlier videos and see how much better the quality is now. Now that you have all of your items and everything is set up, we can go ahead and begin recording. So I've already started my camera and now I'll walk you guys through starting your screen recording. So I'm gonna use Camtasia for this example and I can start a new project or just a new recording. So since I'm also gonna be doing some editing, I will do a new project. And then I can just go up and hit record right away. So you guys can see now that there is a little menu box down here and you can choose the area that you want to screen record. So usually I just do full screen or you can do custom if you prefer. And then I have my camera off since I'm using a different camera. And then you can also choose to leave your audio on or off. So you can leave it on if you want that way, it can match up to your microphone and then your screen recording will be in line with your audio. So I'm gonna leave that on for now and when you're ready, you can just start and hit record. So it will tell you how to stop, it will count down from three and then your recording will begin. So I can go ahead and open up my PowerPoint deck, go into my presentation mode and then just start giving my lesson. When you are done with the recording, you can just hit stop on both and now we'll move into the editing process. Okay, the editing process is where all of the magic happens. So to start, once you've stopped your screen recording, it should automatically put that screen recording into your Camtasia project file. So if you're not using Camtasia, you'll just need to upload both the screen recording and your camera recording. So I don't have the camera recording here yet. I can just click on plus and click import media and then I can open this up. And once it's imported, I can just drag it onto my screen. So I'm going to use the audio from my screen recording to match it up to my camera. So this was all the way here at the end. So I can put my cursor here and zoom in a little bit to make sure that everything is lined up properly. And to double check if everything is lined up, you can just hit the play button. And you can hear that there's no echo so that it's all lined up perfectly. So we can go ahead and delete that screen recording audio because I wanna use the microphone audio that's with the camera. So now we need to remove the green screen. So this is the fun part. So to remove the green screen, we just need to click on this crop mode here and then we can crop this so that it's just the green screen behind me. And next we need to remove a color. So if we go into our visual effects in Camtasia, we can click the remove a color and drag it onto the track that it has our camera recording. 
So on the side in your properties menu, we can click on the color and I always just click on the eyedropper and drag it over to eyedrop onto the correct green color. And you'll see that the background has all disappeared, but you're still on screen. So now we can zoom out or in, resize yourself and place it where you want on your screen. So like you guys know, I'm usually down here in the corner and that is all of the simple editing for removing your green screen and keeping you on screen. There are lots of different editing tools that you can use. Camtasia has a great library of annotations and animations that you can use for title or transitions throughout your video. And you guys did it. You have created a wonderful online teaching video right in your own home. Super easy, right? If you liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.